everyone, I'm Kelly Henry of Kelly's Cuisine and it's Easter time and at Easter time we eat lots of fish. Big fish like tuna, marlin or dolphin or small fish like jacks and flying fish. Now today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite fish recipes. It's called stuffed flying fish and we're going to stuff it with some sauteed cabbage. It's really good. It's easy to make takes no time at all and it's great for parties, great for luncheons. You are going to love it. Now let's go over the ingredients. We have our fillets of flying fish. We remove the heads and the spines. We don't want any bones so we just have the fillets of the flying fish. We have our local seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning you have but this seasoning mixture is made of onions, garlic, sweet pepper, marjoram, basil and a little thyme. We just chopped it up, mix it together, and we're going to marinate the fish with this mixture. The sauteed cabbage filling, we have the cabbage, onions, and sweet pepper. We're going to mix them all together and saute them with a little butter in a little while. We have some oil for frying. This is soya bean oil. You can use whatever oil you have, but I like to use soya bean oil. We have one egg, we're going to make an egg batter. We're going to dip the fish in the egg batter and we're going to double bread it. We have breadcrumbs and we have loose flour. So let's get started. Saute our cabbage. Now I added a teaspoon of butter, then I added the onion, sweet pepper, and the cabbage. And I'm gonna just saute, just tossing it around in a saucepan over a low heat. Now to saute is a French word for to jump or bounce around. And that is exactly what we were supposed to be doing with the vegetables as we are sauteing them, we're constantly moving them, bouncing them around the saucepan until they cook. And we'll know that they're cooked because they all start to look limp and weak. And that's when all the flavor is going to be extracted from these vegetables. We'll do this for a few more minutes, then we'll get ready to stuff our flying fish. Now we're getting ready to stuff our fish. So we have one fish, it has been marinating in a little while with seasoning. So I'm going to take some of the sauteed cabbage just a bit of it, put it right at the top and then I'm going to roll it. So you get your hands all in there, I'm going to roll it all the way down and just to secure it, I'm going to use a toothpick, stick one end and push this toothpick right through it so it stays. So I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to stuff all of these. Then we're going to prepare our egg batter and we're going to mix the breadcrumbs and the flour together and we're going to fry it. Okay, we're going to get ready to bread our fish. So I'm going to take one out. We're going to put it in the first flour and breadcrumb mixture. I'm going to roll it around gently because we don't want it to come apart. Remember it has a toothpick but we don't want it to come apart. Dust it off. You're going to drop it in the egg batter. You're going to do the same thing gently. You're going to drop it in a second batter. And then they are ready for frying. I love when I double batter, it gives it a really nice coating. And when you're frying it, make sure it's even brown. It gives it a nice golden brown color. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dip all of these into the egg batter, I'm gonna bread them, and then we're gonna fry it. Now let's get ready to fry. Make sure the oil is hot because if the oil is not hot, 
and you put the fish into it, it's going to stay there and it's going to suck up all of the oil. As long as it's hot and you put it into the pan, you should hear a sound. Just like that, a nice sizzling sound. And then you can gradually increase the heat. So we're going to just fry two of them right now because we want to give them timing. And when it hits the heat, they expand. So you should try to put it in the saucepan with the side that you don't want to open up. Yep, and we're gonna fry these. Just keep it on each side for about two minutes. Then it will be ready. Frying is one easy way. Children love this. It's great for parties. It's great for luncheons and it takes no time at all. They're all done. Now the best part is to taste. You can see the even brown coating, they smell really good. And this is my favorite part. Mm. Stuffed flying fish, you need to try it. You can download a copy of my book at bookfusion.com. The description is in the link below. And if you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up or subscribe to get more exciting videos about vegetarian recipes.